morning. Today is Monday, November the 16th, and I'd show, show you that I have another pretty rosebud here on my bush. November, and I still have roses blooming. We're on our way to North Charleston. We're going to go uh, waterproof the gazebo, stain it. There's the Ashley River. On our way back home, Larry cut some brush and we stained the gazebo door and the flat surfaces. We're here at the landfill getting compost. Scooped it up out of that pile right there. Put it right in your truck. Here's another view of the compost that we got. We got a nice big truckload, pickup load. It's only $25. This is Tuesday the 17th, but I'm on my way to town with Larry. I got my regular dental appointment this morning. It got cold during the night, so all this condensation is on the inside of the truck. Yeah, cold front through. This is me coming out after my dental cleaning. I didn't have any problems, so go back again next summer. Larry caught another rat. He got big eyes. There is my rose after it's opened. These like it. Here's the tree that Larry cut down. He's using an electric chainsaw on the limbs, the small one, so it's not so heavy. Let me finish this limb right here. We got the tomato plant drugged to the greenhouse, and now Larry's took it off the golf cart and trying to pull it in the door. Facing the door. This is a bottom one, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. Wait a minute. Yeah, I guess so. It doesn't really make any difference, I guess. They're both together now. Go ahead. Oh, wait a minute, I don't want to pull the whole plan over. No. See if that won't hold. Tie the other string to this. Get that string and tie it to that. Better just keep them together just like it is. I wouldn't try to separate them. Come on, 
more. Let's just tie this one for right now. To do. Just tie it to this right here. Both. I think you need to pull both of them up, up at the same time. Now can you slide that one up? Don't get slip. Don't get a sliver. How high up you want it? That's fine right there, because it's going to grow more. See, it's pulling the stick over. See. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need it. Straight down. Again. Oh, don't pull no more. That's as high as I we just want to take the weight off, yeah. Well, we got it inside. It's got it tied there and tied up to the ceiling. We're cutting off the bad leaves. Here's the other piece of it. We thought Steffi was coming over this afternoon, so we waited on her to help us. But it turned out she didn't have to come, so we had to do it by ourselves. And instead of being a, we made a three-person job a two-person job. But it's in here. It's supposed to be 38 tonight. And we tied these, these up earlier to the, to the top. Tied that one up. <laughs> tied this one up. Here's the reason we're trying to save this plant. It's all those nice big tomatoes. There's just so many on here. So we want to save it, keep it growing. Lots of tomatoes. There's some of the rye grass that Larry planted around the pecan tree. Came up and looked pretty. And he planted more around the palm tree. This is Wednesday the 18th of November. There's Larry leaving over there in the dark. He's going to get our great-granddaughters so we can homeschool them today. There isn't any frost on the grass this morning, but there is on the roof. So it did get cold enough to frost. It was about 45 when I got up. Larry's making headway on getting the limbs cut off the tree. The broccoli is liking this cool morning. If you can see, there's some leftover garlic, some of it. Our onion sets came up, the ones we grew and planted. No more tangerines on the tree. We picked the last five yesterday before it got cold. Haley and Emma are doing homework. They're doing schoolwork. And they know what they have to do, so they're just going right ahead and doing what they're supposed to. <laughs> Spelling and social studies, math.
Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> Emma lost a tooth. Can you smile real big? <laughs> School's all done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else being photobombed back there. <laughs> Video bomb. <laughs> yeah. Emma's bu busy building. She's got a parking lot the there. Thing. It's, a it's a grocery store? <laughs> yes. Ah. These are different kinds of tires. A pet. Mm -hmm. All these. And the cars. And hoverboards. Um, couch and a bed. Uh-huh. The yes. register has hoverboards. $2,000 phone and all these other phones. Oh, phones for $2,000. Um, these ones are just all These ones are free. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I can make a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Toilet. Whatever. Hey, Ellie's still finishing hey, her, her I'm homework. <laughs> I'm making Hawaiian rolls and I've got the first stage of my dough in to rise. It's doubled in size so now I've got to punch it down and start making the rolls. My Hawaiian rolls are done. I think I finally got something to come out right the first time. Yay for me. They're light and flaky. Mmm, good. It's day two of school. Exercise. <laughs> Lunch is over, now she's getting ready for P.E. Fleece is actually boys and girls made of recycled plastic. And, and I'm so, on break again. Um, <laughs> Haley's on break for a little bit. Lunch is over. You playing a game? Uh, helps me to digest my food. And yeah! <laughs> yeah, look Emma! <laughs> that gentleman right there dancing away. Emma has a ten minute break. So she ran outside, but <laughs> there's a swing in there too that she likes. Larry caught a possum in his trap. There, Larry caught a possum in his trap. And he put some red paint on the back of it, it's what makes it red. So he'll be able to know if it comes back. He's going to go turn it loose. Oh, ooh, watch out. Oh, he'll bite you. Yeah, don't touch him. Yeah. See his long tail? Class is over for the day. They're loading up their stuff. School starts shortly. This is day three, Friday. Reading time. She's a fly killer. Is she? Emma's dressed as Wonder Woman. Her mom made her a shirt. This Emma has got the Wonder Woman symbol on it. Emma's in art okay, class. Do you like my turkey? And she's drawing a turkey. I'm going to have one over here coming off the side. Okay, okay. I'm still, oh, still working on it. Haley's just doing her work in there. And Haley likes to play games when she has a break. Give me something to do. Emma likes to clean when she has a 10 minute break. <laughs> She's already cleaned this table and underneath. And she cleaned the window on the inside. I have onions in my shirt to carry. Yeah, she's carrying it's onions in her shirt. Going. And Grandpa's calling her Dolly Parton. <laughs> Haley finished her typing class. Now she's reading again. Emma's going to do yoga. In between your feet, and move your fingers around the backs of your feet like they're spiders, so that they sit on the outsides. Now shuffle your feet in towards each other, so that your big toes come to the touch. Stretch your legs over your upper arms, so that you're strengthening your arms and opening your hips. That's what spider pose is very good for, but if you stretch in the more. Now peel your chest along the ground as you stretch your body nice and long as well. Curl your shoulders up. 
lift your chest to have a look out of your eggs. We need to stretch our legs. We come up onto our knees, tuck our toes, and press our hips up to the sky, making our legs as long as they'll go. Yes! Now come high up onto your tiptoes and walk your feet all the way into the middle. Now roll up slowly to stand and turn to the front. School days are hard. It's nap time for Grandpa. Emma's is working. Mm -hmm. Emma gets done with school before Haley. Pop it. I'm about way out. Ooh, big ones. Must be at least 75 or 76. It's nice today. It is. Snow and bubbles. Rainbow. Uh, wow. Try it. Dip it, it in there. Mom. Yeah. I'm carrying the bubble. That's the way. Good boy. Yep. It's staying there a long time. I had some pineapple left from another recipe, so I made a pineapple upside down cake out of Jiffy Mix. So there it is. It's Sunday morning and we're waiting for church to start. Larry fixed lunch. We've got uh, pork loin and boiled potatoes, butter and pepper and a salad. It's Monday morning and we're back in the greenhouse building the beds, the plant beds, out of scrap lumber. You want to explain what you're doing? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. We're lining this with plastic so the uh, dirt won't come through underneath or to help the wood last longer. I'm going to staple this now. Okay. the sides here with black plastic. We're punching holes in the plastic now so it'll drain at the bottom. We're filling it up. Now he added a little perlite to the bed. That's the white. We're bringing in the potting soil and the black cow now. And now he's got some bone meal. Blood meal. Blood meal.
put it right here? I don't oh, this is the black cow, isn't it? Let me drill my end down. I fastened down the edge of the tarp here so we won't catch her foot and fall. We've got two banana peppers there for Emma now at the end of our bed. I'm going to pick some lettuce for supper. This is Tuesday the 24th of November and we're back in the greenhouse. Uh, we had one white potato that sprouted so Larry cut it in three pieces. And we planted it right there along the end. Then I've got a row of contender beans where those popsicle sticks are. They're a little bit closer than what, it's, what they're supposed to be, but we're just going to see how they do. So I've got eight rows of contender beans. i still got these two left to cover up. And then I'm going to plant some arugula right here on uh, about three plants of cucumbers on the end. And then Larry's going to try and, and make them climb up toward the ceiling. So that's the plan. Larry's been getting the dirt off out of the truck bed. Got the barrels, there's still more to get off. We went into town this morning and uh, while Larry went to the, the, to the hardware store, he wanted to get some more pipe fittings. And I waited in the car and he was in there quite a while. And when he come back out, I hadn't turned the headlights off and my car battery was dead. So we waited a little bit and it still wouldn't start. So he walked across the road. There was an auto place over there, repair. And a man came over with a portable battery charger and put it on our battery and it started right up. And we made it home all right. I got the seeds all watered in. Now we just wait for them to grow. Chickens are all out there digging up the ground, scratching. Got one just laying there in a hole in the, kind of a dust bath. Larry got these pots all ready. There's six of them. And we planted the, the red acre cabbage in them. Larry made an omelet for our breakfast this morning. It's like a Thanksgiving breakfast the day before. Got cheese in there. Looks good. We're going to be driving to North Carolina tomorrow to bring uh, Betty's truck back home. We're just going to drive up and come back as soon as we can. So we won't be having Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. We're having this this morning and then we got a ham in the oven too. We're going to make make ham sandwiches to take with us. This is Tuesday and Larry filled the two drums yesterday full of dirt but his chest is sore this morning so I'm filling the third one. Not too much compost left in the truck. And the ham is hot we're going to put the glaze on it. I'm just trying to open it up a little bit so the glaze will go down the end. The roofer called that he's going to be bringing our shingles. So we got to get this tea olive tree trimmed back away from the house. And the banana trees too. Now he's got the pole saw. That should be long enough. He's using the hand burner so I can get to it. We got this side trimmed away from the roof. Now we're going to go do the other side. This is the one on the other end of the house we have to cut. Ready for the chainsaw? Yeah. 
high you want to go? Down or up? Uh, I just, uh, uh, wherever it's easiest for you. It don't matter. Well, I'd go up then a little bit. Up there. Not that much. Right there. Right around in there. All right. Well, I'm going to go, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. No, I think we'll leave it up. So. Okay. Leave one at all that size yeah. then. All right, go ahead. We cut it all away from the house. We got half a tree now. We have to trim back the banana trees too. We got that new saw this summer. I think it's going to be worth it. Let's save that one. Okay. We'll cut this one down. We'll have to dig them up too. Uh-huh. Larry cut the banana tree stalk in pieces. And the chickens seem to like it. We brought a little more firewood in. We've been having fire in the morning to take the chill off the house. Bonnie brought us this um, orange nut cake this morning. That was nice of her. I think it's going to be good. Our roof shingles are just arriving. Somebody up walking on the roof. Backing out, they're done. There they are, all up there. Happy Thanksgiving, we're here at Betty's. And we're getting ready to head to North Carolina. There's our ride. I'll leave my car. It's about 7.20. Time for a diaper change. It's 10 o'clock. We're here at a gas station. Somewhere north of Columbia, I think. Going towards Charlotte, maybe. I'm not sure where we are. We're just riding. Look at this new hairdo. We got a new hairdo. Tim, say. Oh, mom's the boss. All right. <laughs> we do when I catch her. We got oh, a hitchhiker in the car. Uh, you'll pee on me. <laughs> what? I don't care. Well, Kathy doesn't like them. <laughs> All right. Can you can you get him? Are you him? done? Yeah. <laughs> just try and catch him. Looking at you. He's headed the right direction to catch. Ah, right. oh, got it. I matched the cookies. I don't care about <laughs> I see the tail. Okay. okay, just put him out on top. Right, no. Put him on top of the car. <laughs> Roll the window down. Just put him on top Roll of the, the car. Just going down the road. Driving's not too bad. So Pretty mountains over there. Reasons. We're in North Carolina. Oh, look down there, Ben Tan. Red Tan Man. Red Tan Man. Yeah. 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 Red T
What's the bear say? <laughs> what does the bear say? We got here safe and sound about 120. And now we're heading back over to Betty's and going to get her truck and we decide, Larry decided he wants to go back home today. So now we're doing that. I like to drive. There's Betty. First time I've seen her in forever. Still, still right here. Still Thank right you. there. Hopefully being home Saturday. I'll be glad to see you guys. Yeah. Up close and personal. <laughs> yeah, not from six foot distance. Not for two weeks. So. Yeah. Okay, well. It's 3.45 and the sun's already starting to go down in the mountains. But it's pretty. I think the trees are really pretty even when they don't have leaves. Sun up there on the mountain. Then you'll be happy to have a truck back in home. North Carolina. They got Christmas trees over the street. Get the wreaths up on the sides. The lights are all they're all lighted. It's 459 and we just passed into South Carolina. And the roads just went from wonderful to not so wonderful. At least this little area here. So, 459. I was saying how bad the roads are here in South Carolina, but we're on 26 now. I-26, and it's pretty smooth and nice. But just that one section to come into the state that's bad. These are all pretty good. And traffic is surprisingly light. I guess Thanksgiving Day is a lot better than Sunday to drive. This is a watermelon that's about two months old. It's been laying out by the entrance with part of my fall de decorations. And I took it down, so we're going to cut it and see if it's any good. And if it's not any good, we'll go give, give it to the chickens. Cut it this way. However you want. Boy, it's still hard as a rock. It's green, that's why. It's got kind it. of a funny color. No, I tasted it last time. I'm not okay. gonna taste it again. You wanna cut in another down the middle again? Yeah. <laughs> this one got out. <laughs> you better get back in. See how it gets in. Might be right here. Hey, chick, 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 here. Well, I was wondering, you gonna make a place for it to get in? If it had come up here. Wait a minute, and I'll get him. I'm holding it up. The chicken don't want to come. There. Well, now you got a place to come in. 
watermelon, watermelon. Ain't too bad. This is the other one. But chickens will enjoy it more. Are you going to eat that? No, thank you. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, spit it out. Maybe watermelon will come up from those seeds out here in the yard. Uh, I doubt it. When I was a girl in the 1950s, we had a wringer washing machine, and it took all day to do the laundry. We had to fill the tubs and heat the water, and then just run them all through the wringer. And it was an all-day job. Mom would always put on a pot of navy beans in the morning, and that's what we'd eat. So that's what we got cooking today. I still got to put some ham in there. Mom just used bacon grease. But it smells good already. It's about time to put the chickens in for the evening. They shouldn't be hungry after all that watermelon. Okay. That's pansy, I think. Pansy flies up there every night to get petted. <laughs> yeah, they come to get the corn. Except for this one. You're missing it in there. <laughs> yeah. Don't fence me in. <laughs> they eat like they haven't had any watermelon or anything else all day. We've only got four eggs today, so four of those girls are letting down on the job. We ran an electrical cord from the tall shed across the roof and then down out this fence all the way to the greenhouse and then through the door, the hole in the door, electric line. So we're going to put a uh, electric oil heater in there if it gets cold. Take that free, keep it from freezing. I we'll hope that'll work without Larry. We can't go out there in the middle of the night and build a wood fire anymore. Larry pulled up all the zinnia flower plants that have been growing here all summer. And you can see his other little pepper was hidden down under there. And he planted collard seeds. So hopefully we'll have some collards and we can give them to Tammy and Michael. Because we don't eat them. Larry's frying onion rings for lunch. I started and he finished so I could go get the pork patty and heat it. We picked several of our cherry tomatoes. A few of them have to ripen up just a little more. But we can have them in salads. I was looking out the living room window and there's a, a blossom there on our little azalea plant. And it's almost December. It's a little bloom there. It's Sunday morning and they're having the hanging of the green ceremony. I brought an old quilt in to dry in front of the fireplace and there was a little frog in it. He's right here. Where? On this end. Right, right about a foot from your... 
I don't know if I got him or not. <laughs> well, if you didn't get him, he'd still be going around. Whew. Well, we'll catch him and throw him outside in the rain. Yeah, I see his leg. Okay, we got him then. Which door? You want to take him out the front door? Yeah. Hmm? Why don't you just set him down on the step? He'll come back in. No, he won't. I'll shut the door. There he is down there. Down there in the grass. There he is. Hope he can still hop. Yep, he can still hop. There he goes. I was afraid Larry threw him down too hard. I'm making onion soup. I like French onion soup when I go to a restaurant, but I've never made it. And we have all those onions, so I caramelize the onions and add the salt and garlic and chicken broth. And that's all there is to it. I'm cooking the onions now, and I'll add the broth after I get them cooked. My onion soup is done. I haven't tasted it yet, but Larry said it was good. Here we are, talking to David and Jill again and saying goodbye. And the tree is pretty. Thanks. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, love you guys. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye this is our church we attend in North Carolina. You can see it's all decorated for Christmas. Got flowers and the tree up. And that's the pastor. He always has a very good sermon. I miss going there. We got two heads of cabbage starting to head. Here's all the uh, sticks on our broccoli. The sticks. Netting that we used to um, keep the birds out of the fruit. So Larry put it here to keep the chickens out. And we're going to use it to keep the little spinach. As you can see, we got little spinach coming up. I'm going to put a blanket over it. This, this netting will help hold up the blanket too when it gets cold. And the garlic's growing a little. Got a few pieces of lettuce coming up. Spinach. A little miniature rose is still blooming. Don't have too many left, but a few. I followed the instructions on Deep South Homestead and canned butter for the first time. Wanda showed how to do it, so I tried it. And I did just a little one to see how we like it, to taste it. That says pear butter, but that's just an old bed. So, got two pints of butter, and now we'll see if we like it or not. This is the 30th of November, and look how many tomatoes I just picked. These are cherry tomatoes. But we had some for lunch, and they were good. We picked the rest of the green peppers, too, so they wouldn't freeze. There they are. That's the last of them. Betty got back home from North Carolina into South Carolina. She got there about 10.30 Saturday night. And so she's been resting since then. Her friends brought her home, so they're over there. So I was hoping to have her on video today, but since she's busy with them, I'll have to wait till next video to see her. But she's okay, just tired from the trip and trying to get things straightened around again. She said her house was full of boxes again from things they brought back from North Carolina. December starts tomorrow, so it's time to end this video. It's still windy, and it's getting colder all the time. Well, that seems appropriate for December when it gets here. Good night. God bless.